Uh, today we're gonna talk about how to uh, drop your lipstick in advance so you have a drop bag and how to put a skier number at the same time complete listing process okay so first uh, when you take your picture you save it as a drop right and you go to your computer so once you're in your computer now you go over here on your listing go to your job so this is supposed to be the list of draft that you are or the pictures of the item that you have so see there's no cost of level right so that's this is where you can find your item or the box number so how are we gonna put that so this is the complete process thing so go reshoot draft okay so fix your pictures guys so not like that so let's crop it so it's more presentable there you go go and adjust the brightness a little bit and save right so that one so for example 60 degrees cemented carbide blade cutting roll and vinyl film so i copy that one copy then open a new tab for pricing so let's go here so search paste the search so we're gonna sold listing. So sold listing is mo mostly 15, 15, 15. There is one, two, three, four, five, four, five, ninety five. So mostly this price is around first will be seven something, seven seventy five. So what we can do if you have multiple on this I have eight of this so take two pictures of this one then you can press it for 15 so I'm gonna this one I'm gonna repicture this one and put a lot of two then yeah just save so that what so make sure you put it here maximize it okay lot of two Make sure you consume all the eight characters, all right? And the brand should be say Roland. There you go. Brand is Roland. So you can type it here, Roland. MPA number, uh, manufacturer product number, and here. This is the most important one of the most important things add a custom level okay so let's say fritz so fr which means you then the box number so let's say 36 right same because here instead of putting here you just put it here add custom number 36 because uh when you print or you got sold uh it will gonna show you like this one. We have a sold listing, selling. We sold this too, right? So uh, there you go. So as you can see over here, there's a number thirty-five. Number thirty-five. I don't know. As you can see here, is Q thirty-three. So this is the one that you did that there's no uh, SKU number. So we need a SKU number like this one for for me too easy to find it. So SQ 33. So I can look for it on the box number 33. Alright. So that's the purpose of that. Then condition. Then your 
description, describe any flaws or if it's still brand new or something like that. So let's say four ninety nine. So allow offers, yes, and schedule listing. So this is the thank you other set. So for today, as much as possible, you have a one week draft bank or two weeks. If more, the better. Okay. So for example, um, schedule your listing. Just turn it on. Turn it on. So today is 5-3. So let's schedule this on 5-4. Five, 5-4. Four. Five, four, mostly 5 a.m. Then the second one is 5 a.m. 0-1. Sec third one is 5 a.m. 0-2. Something like that. And continuously. The date will be the same, okay? Then when you reach the 10, 10 items, you're gonna go to 5-5. Five, five. So at least you have one week or two weeks draft back, all right? And the shipping, if it's too small, just put under the under a pound. Then on the pounds, 15, 10, 10, 3. So mostly, if it's small item, 15 ounces, 10, 10, 3. That's the standard. Okay? And if you think it's heavy or more than 16 ounces, so put this one here. The 2 to 3 pounds. Okay? So that's the only thing that you're going to change. 2 to 3 pounds, then 2 pounds here. That's it. Alright? So, and just in case it asks for your for location, just type the 92553. Or where are you looking for that? Okay? Then list. So here you go. Your listing is scheduled. Has been scheduled. So that's the schedule already. So that. So let's check it out. A listing. Schedule. So we have one schedule already. Okay? So, don't worry about the SKU number, because uh, it will get uh, appear when it prints. So you can you can put it here also. That's the custom SKU number. Okay, after you put the after you draft it. Okay, so hopefully this works, and just continue build up your listing. It's up to you if you wanna list it at once, then just make it live. So we can make it live. Uh, let's go here. A uh, drop. Uh, same thing what I told you. We should drop. Then yeah, fix your pictures. Uh, optimize your title or research researchable. Then brand. If there's a size size or something like that. Then condition. The SKU number, this is the most important, okay? You can put it after you, but this is the, so 36, I don't know. Name who listed, then box number 36, okay? So after that, then, yep, that's the price. The comparison price, let's just do 2275. All right, so... Well, instead of uh, check, checking the schedule, just leave it alone. Okay, so this one, so it's just two pounds because like heavy. So just the same, 10, 10, 3. Okay, then list. Okay, just list. So well, for me, since uh, we're doing the scheduling, uh, let's do here. And as I said earlier, we did the four and five. Five zero zero, so it's five zero one. Okay? And list. Oh, item specific. So size. It's a quick size. Okay. Then list. 
you know so the release date has been scheduled so let's check it out eBay let's go to like this one selling listing go to schedule so there you go so we have two already okay so that's how you see you after you take a picture for me I take picture then save as draft then do it like this here because it's more easy to research especially if you don't know about the item you can just search Google here quicker in the computer okay so hopefully this helped and yeah just leave a comment and